Hey guys, David Yates here at, uh, from Clearwater Mead Aquarium, home of Rescue Rehab and Release. Today we have an exciting, exciting thing. You know we're about a Rescue Rehab and Release and about sea turtles primarily. They, that's a lot of our work. Today is an amazing day. We're here about five miles north of Clearwater Mead Aquarium. And look at our, we have four vehicles right now. We're actually releasing 29 endangered species green sea turtles back in the wild and these are cold snap turtles meaning believe it or not even in Florida it gets cold every now and then not like if you're from Iowa not quite that cold but these turtles these are small turtles and uh, if, the, if the water tip they're, they're, ect they're called ectothermic they're, co they're cold blooded if the water gets too cold they don't thrive as well they get lethargic and our job is to and then they simply cannot do what they need to do to thrive in the wild our job is to rescue them get them warmed up get them well Get them hydrated and, and then get them back in the golf and they're ready to go. Today is release day. This is a, our best part of our work. Exciting day. And we're in the middle of the work ride here. So we got some vehicles behind us. We'll be carrying these turtles down to the beach. And this is Honeymoon Island. About, again, about 5 to 10 miles north of Clearwater Mean Aquarium. And uh, the, each of these tubs has one turtle in them. Typically, maybe some have two. Again, these are all green sea turtles, all endangered species. We have this van. We have another van right here. A lot going on. Let's walk around and see what's going on. This is another van with some more turtles over here. Busy, 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 busy day, guys. A lot going on. And a lot, we have a lot of hands-on right now. All these turtles will go back in the wild. So let's kind of watch. I'll kind of narrate as we go. Again, these turtles, again, they're cold-blooded. You know that phrase. We call it, uh, the phrase is ectothermic is the technical name. And it means uh, they, they adjust to the, their, their body temperature adjusts to the temperatures around them. And when the water temperatures go too low in the Gulf of Mexico or anywhere else, and they can't thrive, their circulatory systems don't work, and also if they're immunosuppressed already with some other disease, then they just can't do it very, very well, and they kind of stop thriving. They literally just freeze up in that sense. And this is called cold snap. Um, there's another phrase you may have heard of called cold stun, is that's when it gets even colder than it was. So this is not cold stun. It's called cold snap, which means uh, it's a little bit warmer, or not quite as cold as cold stun. Um, but it's a very organized event. We have dozens of people out here, and we will walk them down, get them back where they belong in the wild. And again, that's what we're all about. So you see we have our, our head veterinarian over there, Shelly Marquat, with the sunglasses on. And uh, there's a lot of medical work goes on. You can see some of the turtles. So here we go. So they're going to walk down and go right to the beach. And, uh, so guys, let's let them go. Let's shoot as we go here, guys. So we're going to get them right down and uh, in the water. And uh, these are simple tubs, and they're all warmed up now. Again, it's, this is about two weeks, two or three weeks of rehab we did on all these turtles. And again, uh, we had to get them hydrated, get their, uh, their blood where it needs to get, get them warmed up, get them fed, and get all their, uh, once they clear all the blood tests and all the metrics that we have for them medically, they're released back in the wild. That's what we're about. And look at the lineup right here, guys. How cool is that? 29 sea turtles, and this is about uh, four or five right here. And they're going to go right down, go in the water, and uh, it's that simple. And uh, you can see as we go, and uh, this is how it happens. Again, this is what Rescue, Rehab, and Release is all about. So this is a very inspiring day. So we're going to watch as we go here. I'm going to set the mic down just for a second. Can I watch as we go here? You guys all good? All right, guys, come on down. Come on down. And we have a big crowd here today to watch this. This is very inspiring stuff. Our job is to get them right in the wild. And uh, here we go. And we walk right out. We don't waste any time. We go right out in the wild. And this is how it happens.
Move right. Alright guys, we're getting Eden wound up the wire here. So that's round one. We have more to come. We're going to go back to our vans and bring more out. Again, a total of 29 green sea turtles going back today. What a, what a great, great day. How inspiring is this, guys? So we're going to go back up and bring some more out. That's the first four or five. And again, total of 29. And again, the rehab process was two or three weeks for these. They weren't going to have major, major injuries. As long as we, once we get them warm, again, get them hydrated, medically get their metrics where they need to get, they go right back in the Gulf of Mexico. That's our job. That's what we're about. We've been very busy the last few days. In the meantime, right now, we have a little video we're going to show you of how cool the rehab process is. Watch this. All right, guys, we're going to go back and, and get some more. So the first ones we did were, uh, were do not have uh, the PAPS virus. Fibropapilloma virus is a, is a virus many sea turtles have. Uh, so those did not. The rest of them all have what's called the PAP. We call it the PAPS virus for short, fibropapilloma virus. And uh, these are ones right here. We have one going right here, going back. It's one of our larger ones here. We're going to get a good picture of that. So this is one of our larger sea turtles right here. Most of them were smaller than this. This is a, a sub-adult and uh, one of our larger green sea turtles. How amazing and inspiring is that? And it's time to go back home, guys. That's what it's all about. So we'll carry It's a little bit heavier than the other ones were. So we have two of our staff members doing that. And we're going to go right back in out to the water and they'll lift her together and carry her back into the water. So here you go, guys. Watch. This is really, really cool. That's a great, great shot. Here you go. And here's yet another sea turtle, guys. There's another green. And you can see the size of that. Is that a beautiful animal we have right there going back in the wild? We'll do the same thing. We'll carry it back, put it in the, in the Gulf of Mexico, and she will be off. And all these animals are tagged. You might see a small tag in the right flipper right there. We tag them so we know their medical conditions if they're ever pulled up for rehab again. So here we go. Another turtle. All right, everybody back. Stay back. 
back, please. Stay back, please. It just keeps coming guys. We're about 10 or 12 turtles in. We have 29 total to go today. Again, all green sea turtles that are all endangered species, getting them back where they belong in the wild. It's about rescue, rehab, and release. And we have some more coming up right now. So this will be about a 15, 20 minute ordeal. It's a lot of fun, very inspiring, but our job is to get them back. And uh, this is how it happens, right here live, just north of Clearwater Mean Aquariums. Here we go guys. Next turtle, here you go, couple of them. Going right back out, here we go. Here we go. All right guys. Alright guys, so we're still ongoing right now. We have another uh, cart coming right now with one or two sea turtles in. So again, total of 29. And if you watch our Dolphin Tail movies, you notice we told the story of uh, a turtle called Mavis in Dolphin Tail 2. We're kind of known for dolphins, but uh, most of our rehab work actually quantity time-wise are with sea turtles. These are amazing species. There are five species in the Gulf of Mexico. All of these are what's called green sea turtles. It's one of the most common s species there is in the Gulf. They are endangered. It's an endangered species though. Let's go take a look. Another one coming right back. Here you go. Heading out.
Help me out. So guys, there you go, guys. 29, how cool is this? By the way, we want to thank Duke Energy who sponsors our Sea Turtle Rehab work. Without Duke Energy support, we could not do what we do. They're an amazing sponsor of what we do. If you look around out here again, our team's kind of winding up. 29 sea turtles back in about 15 minutes, guys. How awesome is that? These are amazing species. Our job is to get them well, get them back in the wild where they belong where they can populate, do well, thrive, and uh, again, we have we, we have a little medical tag on all these turtles. If they ever need rehab again for a, whatever reason, we can go back and track their medical chart issues by the small little tag we put on them. These are amazing species, guys. How cool was today? 29 turtles in like 15 minutes. That's what we're about. Rescue, rehab, and release. To find out more about our work, go to seawinner.com. If you want to help us and donate, you can go on our website. These, these animals do not have insurance. They do not have Medicare, Medicaid, we pay for all this support, all the work, all the medicine, and your help helps us do that. Your support helps us do that, guys. So thanks for being following us. Go to seawinner.com. Come see us at, sea, at the aquarium, Clearwater Beach. Guys, look around. Beautiful day. If you're cold in Iowa or North Dakota, wherever you're at, it's a nice warm day here. Come see us. If not, go on our website. Thanks for following us. Thanks for supporting the work of Rescue, Rehab, and Release. Dave Yates signing off. Thanks, guys. Take care. Well, Dave, how cool was that? Amazing stuff. 29 trillion.